there, I'm Nicole Crane, and I'd like to welcome you to Pop and Pussy, a thinking woman's guide to seductive women in pop culture. Let's jump right in. Tonight I'll be discussing playing to people's fantasies as a component of seduction. I'll be starting off with a summary of Law 32 from Robert Greene's book, The 48 Laws of Power, and how that relates to the movie Closer. So Law 32 is play to people's fantasies, and to elaborate a little bit on what that means, I'll refer to the summary at the beginning of the book, which states that the truth is often avoided because it's ugly and unpleasant. Never appeal to truth and reality unless you are prepared for the anger that comes from disenchantment. Life is so harsh and distressing that people who can manufacture romance or conjure up fantasy are like oasis in the desert. Everyone flocks to them. There is a great power in tapping into the fantasies of the masses. This clip is the perfect example of how intoxicating the fantasy of the playful seductress is and how it completely intoxicates her intended plaything, and also how her unwillingness to maintain it not only dissolves the enchantment, but also causes full-on distress and a return to the world that her customer wished to escape. Thank you. What's this room called? The Paradise Suite. How many Paradise Suites are there? Eight. Do I have to pay you to talk to me? No, but if you want to tip me, you're welcome. Thank you. I used to come here a million years ago. It was a punk club. The stage was... Everything is a version of something else. Twenty years ago. How old were you? Four. Christ. When I was in flares, you were in nappies. My nappies were flared. You have the face of an angel. Thank you. What does your cunt taste like? Heaven. How long have you been doing this? Three months. Straight after he left you? No one left me. Nice wig. Thank you. Does all this turn you on? Sometimes. Fire? You're telling me it turned you on because you think that's what I want to hear. You think I'm turned on by it turning you on. The thought of me creaming myself when I strip for strangers doesn't turn you on. Well, like that, yes. Are you flirting with me? Maybe. Are you allowed to flirt with me? Sure. Really? No, I'm not. I'm breaking all the rules. You're mocking me. Yes, I'm allowed to flirt. Surprise my money from me. Surprise your money from you. I may do or say as I please. Except touch. We're not allowed to touch. Open your legs. Wide, uh... So what would happen if I touched you now? I would call security. And what would they do? They would ask you to leave and ask you not to come back. And if I refused to leave? They would remove you. Those are security cameras in the ceiling. I think it's best I don't attempt to touch you. I'd like to touch you. Later. I'm not a whore. I wouldn't pay. Why the fuck did he leave you? What's your job? A question. You've asked me a question. So? It's a chink in your armor. I'm not wearing armor. Yes, you are. You know why I do. Why are you calling yourself Jane? Because it's my name. We both know it isn't. You're all protecting your identities. There's a girl out there who calls herself Venus. What's her real name? Pluto. You're cheeky. Would you like me to stop being cheeky? No. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel, the dermatologist. I never told you my job. I guessed. You're strong. There's another one out there, judging by the scars, a recent patient of Dr. Tit calls herself Cupid. Who's going to tell her that Cupid was a bloke? He wasn't a bloke, he was a little boy. I want you to tell me your name.
please. Thank you. My name is Jane. Your real name. Thank you. My real name is Jane. Careful. Thank you. Still Jane. I've got about another 500 quid here. Why don't I just give you all this stuff about me? And you tell me what your real name is. Alice. I promise. Thank you. My real name is plain. Jane Jones. I may be rich, but I'm not stupid. What a shame, Doc. I love him rich and stupid. Don't you fuck around with me! I apologize. Accepted. All the girls in this hellhole, the pneumatic robots, the coked up baby dolls, and you're no different. And you all use stage names to con yourselves into someone else, so you don't feel ashamed when you show your cunts and assholes to complete fucking strangers. I am trying to have a conversation here. Yeah, cash. Bus. I paid for this room. This is extra. We met last year. Wrong girl. Talk to me. I am. Talk to me in real life. I didn't know you'd be here. I know who you are. I love you. I love everything about you that hurts. She won't even see me. You feel the same. I know you feel the same. You can't cry in here. Hold me. Let me hold you. I'm not allowed to touch. Well, come home with me. It's safe. Let me look after you. I don't need looking after. Everyone needs looking after. I'm not your revenge fuck. I'll pay you. I don't need your money. You have my money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that some kind of rule? Just being polite. Get a lot of grown men crying their guts out here? Occupational hazard. Have you ever desired a customer? Yes. Well, put me out of my misery. Do you desire me? Because I'm being pretty fucking honest about my feelings for you. Your feelings? Whatever. No, I don't desire you. Thank you. Thank you sincerely for your honesty. Do you think you haven't given us anything of yourselves? Do you think because you don't love us, or desire us, or even like us, do you think you've won? It's not a war. <laughs> If I asked you to strip right now, would you? Of course. You want me to? No. Alice, tell me something true. Lying's the most fun a girl can have without taking her clothes off. But it's better if you do. You're cold. You're all cold at heart. What'd you have to do to get a bit of intimacy around here? Maybe next time I'll have worked on my intimacy. No, I'll tell you what's going to work. Is that you're going to take your gear off right now. And you're going to turn around very slowly. And you're going to bend over. And you're going to touch the fucking floor. For my viewing pleasure. Is that what you want? What else could I want? to keep up the fantasy in order to keep Daniel enthralled. Since that was not her intention, she was intentionally weaponizing her sexuality and using the truth as a shield. To be fair, it's super disarming when your personal life intrudes into your work life, um, especially when keeping the fantasy up is part of your safety regimen. So as a power move, it's still solid. As a seduction technique, not so much. There is a list of tips on how to be more successful as a stripper. It's still in circulation, but I first saw it on MySpace, so early 2000s. But in that list, the author says to give the audience a bit of what they're expecting. 
I think that in this example, she was kind of referring to twerking or wearing a gold lame bikini. But how this translates to other areas of seduction might look like wearing hair extensions for the night, um, letting a guy buy you a drink, or buying him one if he's already getting a lot of attention, or maybe just finding an excuse to touch your crush's hand. There's nothing like a bit of physical contact to test the chemistry, right? The doors for Courtesan Queen are open until September 30th. To learn more, check out the link in the comments below and get signed up before the early bird discount ends on the 25th. This is the last time I'm running this program in 2020, and I'd love to have you join me. Um, I'll see you next week as we explore Law 43, which is work on the hearts and minds of others versus the TV show Pose. Bye for now. Mwah.